explain fertilization about fertilization this is also the continuation of the chapter reproduction of class 10 in my last video i made you understand menstrual cycle what happens when fertilization doesn't occur हमने उसमें आपको समझाया कि क्या होता है जब फर्टिलाइजेशन नहीं होता है आज मैं आपको बताने जा रही हूँ कि क्या होता है जब फर्टिलाइजेशन होता है फिलोपियन ट्यूब में सो दिस ऑल्सो यू विल एक्सप्लेन यू विद डिफरेंट फेजेस और यू कैन से स्टेप बाय स्टेप आई एम गोइंग टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड स्टेप बाई स्टेप सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट डू वी मीन बाई फर्टिलाइजेशन फर्टिलाइजेशन मीन्स वॉट द फ्यूजन ऑफ गैमिट मेल एंड फीमेल गैमिट स्पोम एंड ओवर when these sperms are released in the fallopian in in the female reproductive part when it is released in the female reproductive part millions of sperms run towards the ova bahut sare sperms jo hai ek sath ova ki taraf jate hain lekin in mein se kuch 100 hi jo hai wo ova tak pahunch pate hain not all why what is the reason behind it kuch jo hote hain unka movement unme energy nahi hoti hai aur किसी के पास न्यूट्रिशन की कमी होती है कुछ जो है डाइवर्टेड हो जाते हैं अनदर पार्ट ऑफ द फेलोपियन ट्यूब दे मूव एंड दैट इज वाई दे डाई सो मोस्ट ऑफ द स्पर्म गेट्स डेड और वो रास्ते में ही उन उनका डेड हो जाता है और वो स्टॉप हो जाते हैं और कुछ सौ ही जो है वो एग्स तक पहुंच पाते हैं और उनमें से सिर्फ एक है जो कि एग्स के अंदर फर्टिलाइजेशन प्रोसेस कर पाता है how this process occurs i have made you understand no see there are so many uh, sperms they they come they come and uh, try to enter many sperms are there but here one acrosome you must be remembering that the head part of the sperm head part of the sperm has a external covering like structure which is known as acrosome acrosome and this acrosome what it does it releases an enzyme called hyaluronidase i'm writing here you ronidase base this is what is known as hyaluronidase enzyme which is secreted by the acrosome of the sperm what it does it degenerates the external part of the ova and enters inside the ova but you know only nucleus goes and get fused with this ovum only nucleus of the sperm enters and fuses with this ovum as fertilization occurs jaise hi fertilization ho jata hai ova a chemical release karta hai jo ki that chemical gets around this ova and close the entry of sperm and what it does it closes the entry of sperm this is how fertilization occurs this is how fertilization occurs so now what happens in the next step i am going to explain that what happens after this uh, fertilization what are the changes takes place in uh, mother's womb or in uterus i have already made you understand no see when the ovulation start this ova this ova is released by ovary and it goes to fallopian tube this is what the fallopian tube if you are knowing this is what the fallopian tube it's okay and this fallopian tube here at 14th days it's wait for the process of fertilization when sperm comes and fuses with ova then this ova gets converted into the first cell of baby and that is what is known as zygote what do we say we say zygote ye kaun sa phase ho gaya zygote to ye step by wise jo hai inme development hota hai first ko kehte hain zygote then do you know what start then starts cleavage and right after this cleavage morula phase start after morula blastocyst first of all i am writing and then i will explain blastocyst phase will start then early embryo then early embryo and then you can say late embryo and then you can say fetus fetus and then from fetus to infant fetus to infant then how these phases occurs 
let us know how these phases occurs as i told you know this zygote is the first cell of the uh, of the uh, baby first cell of the baby after fertilization ye zygote jo hai wo pehla cell hai then cleavage start cleavage means what division in the cell very rapid division it starts rapidly they start dividing when it divides around uh, uh, this this kind of cleavage then start no see when they are divided twice this phase is called volume this phase is called cleavage this is what is known as cleavage means division start and then they reach to the morula then they reach to the morulate stage and when this division is around 32 cell it becomes no then when it becomes 32 cell means divide into 32 cell then this is this phase is called blastocyst what it is called blastocyst and he is he phase ke work blastocyst phase ke work ye jo apna uh, zygote hai ye zygote jo hai wo yahan se aa kar ke uterine wall mein fix ho jata hai this is this process ko hum kehte hain implantation this process is what called implantation and here this implantation is done here this implantation is done in in the phase of blastocyst in the phase of blastocyst now what happened after blastocyst early age development start exactly at this time you know at the same time uterine wall is developed uterine wall is developed completely it is uh, uh, already prepared to carry the baby here one disc shaped structures start appearing here one in the wall a disc shaped structure start appearing which is known as placenta इसे हम क्या कहते हैं प्लेसेंटा एंड दैट प्लेसेंटा गेट्स नाउ सी नाउ द स्टेज इज व्हाट देन व्हाट हैपेंस राइट आफ्टर ब्लास्टोसिस्ट अर्ली स्टेज स्टार्ट द अर्ली स्टेज ऑफ द फीटस स्टार्ट मींस थर्ड वी देन लेट लेट एम्ब्रियो नॉट अर्ली एम्ब्रियो एंड लेट एम्ब्रियो इन लेट एम्ब्रियो यू कैन से अराउंड 5 6 वीक्स ऑफ दिस आफ्टर फर्टिलाइजेशन then fetus then it changes into fetus till that there is one disc shaped structures occur or you can say develop in uterus which is known as placenta it always develops after fertilization to so, yahan placenta ka development hota hai and this placenta is connected with uh, you can say with a uh, uh, cord like structure tubular tubular structure to a baby to a baby and that is connection between mother and mother and fetus this is known as this is what is called umbilical cord ise hum kya kehte hain ise hum umbilical cord kehte hain what happens what is the function of this placenta this placenta is responsible to provide glucose oxygen glucose and oxygen glucose for nourishment oxygen for breathing for uh, digestion and many other processes is done through this placenta which is connected to mothers and to baby through a uh, tubular structure known as what it is known as this is called umbilical cord what this is called umbilical cord what is the function of this umbilical cord and placenta you know this umbilical cord is not only responsible for the transfer of substances from placenta to embryo ye to oxygen glucose ye sari cheeze embryo ko deta hai at the same time embryo se waste material bhi leta hai aur mother ke through excrete out hote hain so this is what the connection between mother and embryo you know exactly at that time placenta also releases hormones progesterone and estrogen for the preparation of the uterine uh, uter uterus or the maintaining the structure of uterus this secretion is continued is it okay so this is what umbilical cord and this is what placenta this is what placenta you know uh, this placenta you can say placenta is a finger like projection like villi just like villi placenta is just like the, uh, uh, it, it develops one villi like structure at the same time umbilical cord also no get entangled with this get entangled with this like this they both get entangled okay so this placental placental villi and this is what i told you this is what umbilical cord finger like projection this part is called allantois jo 
अम्बिलिकल कॉर्ड का फिंगर लाइक प्रोजेक्शन है जो इंटैंगल हो जाता है प्लेसेंटा से उसे हम एलेंटोइस कहते हैं उसे हम क्या कहते हैं एलेंटोइस कहते हैं I hope you people will understand. Exactly at that time, you know what happened? There is a sac-like structure develops around this embryo. एक sac-like structure develop करता है embryo के surrounding. This is called. This is what is called. This is called amniote. इसे हम कहते हैं amniote. What is the function of this amniote? It provides mechanical support and prevents from mechanical injuries. ये इम्ब्रियो को मैकेनिकल इंजरी से बचाता है इसे प्रिवेंट करता है है ना दिस इज व्हाट एमनियोट बिटवीन द एमनियोट एंड इम्ब्रियो बिटवीन द एमनियोट एंड एम्ब्रियो देयर इज अ फ्लूइड देयर इज अ फ्लूइड एंड दिस फ्लूइड इज व्हाट कॉल्ड यू नो एमनियोटिक फ्लूइड इसे हम क्या कहते हैं एमनियोटिक फ्लूइड व्हाट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ दिस एमनियोटिक फ्लूइड एमनियोटिक फ्लूइड का काम है शॉक एब्जॉर्बर इट एक्ट्स जस्ट लाइक अ शॉक एब्जॉर्बर ये बेबी को शॉक से बचाता है ड्यूरिंग द होल जेस्टेशन पीरियड मीन्स नाइन मंथ्स व्हेन मादर मूव और व्हेन मादर इज गोइंग समवेयर सिटिंग और स्टैंडिंग अप और लाइन डाउन एंड गेटिंग अप एक्जैक्टली एट दैट टाइम इफ दे दिस फ्लू विल नॉट बी देयर देन बेबी मेक इट शॉक्स सो वॉट हैपन ये शॉक से बेबी को बचाता है ये फ्लूड और इस फ्लूड को हम क्या कहते हैं एमनियोटिक फ्लूड उसे हम क्या कहते हैं एमनियोटिक फ्लूड सो दीज ऑल वर द इंफॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग फर्टिलाइजेशन देन वॉट हैपन वेन दिस जेस्टेशन पीरियड कंप्लीट जब ये जेस्टेशन पीरियड कंप्लीट हो जाता है नाइन मंथ्स का एग्जैक्टली यू नो एट थर्ड मंथ टिल द थर्ड मंथ द कंप्लीट द फॉर्मेशन स्टार्ट द होल पार्ट ऑफ द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द फीट इज स्टार्ट एंड देन डेवलपमेंट फ्रॉम थ्री मंथ्स टू नाइन मंथ्स development is there formation is done till 3 months eyes ka formation nose ka formation hands legs wo form ho jate hain ki baby ke kis part mein kaun sa body parts hai then development unme hota hai 3 to 9 months so this period the whole period from zygote to the complete uh, fetus or the complete 9 uh, months this period is called gestation period this period is what called gestation period then what happened then slowly this head of the head of the baby start moving towards the cervix which is the above vagina there is a cervix part it starts uh, uh, expanding the cervix when the day is complete and then baby start moving down towards the vagina through their head part head part and then through the vagina this baby is uh, uh, baby comes out and this process is called parturition the birth of the baby at the time of the birth of the baby this process is what called parturition is process ko hum kya kehte hain parturition when the baby comes out you know the placenta and umbilical cord everything comes out from the body of mother so i hope you people have understood this uh, fertilization also and uh, menstrual cycle these all are interconnected i would try to give all the links of this chapter so that you can understand it well अगर आपको ये समझ में आ गया है देन प्लीज लाइक द वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब दिस वीडियो एंड वेट फॉर द नेक्स्ट वीडियो इन माय नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग अबाउट द कंप्लीट डेफिनेशन पार्ट मीन्स डिफरेंट डिफरेंट प्रोसेस ऑफ दिस रिप्रोडक्शन इट वुड हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टैंड ऑल दीज प्रोसेस थैंक यू ऑल ऑफ यू हैव अ गुड डे